What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are playing this, uh, it's a standard deck, and it's looking to take advantage of God Eternal Ronus and Finale of Devastation. But in order to get these cards, we're going to head over to Manatraders.com, who has great subscription services for physical paper cards or Magic Online cards. So I'm going to go over here and borrow all the cards I need. Dink, 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 dink. So we're gonna go Carnage. I don't have any Carnage Tyrants? Wow, that's crazy. So what you do is you go over to their site, you enter the cards you need. Got Eternal Ronus. And then they open a trade with you. And it's super easy. I always forget that the, the green one is Finale of Devastation because it doesn't seem like Devastation does not seem like a, a term that's associated with uh, with green. So we're missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's it, right? 13. So we got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. So then you click Rent, rent Deck. They gather your cards. What if they don't open a trade with me? Uh, you know, that seems like a bridge you should probably cross when you come to it. Because otherwise, it's, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's just like, uh, <coughs> woo, duly noted. Uh, so they are currently gathering my my cardos together. We're almost there, guys. And there you go. Should be 13 cards up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Perfect. <clears throat> oh, a stable stream. Nice, nicely timed, my friend. Nicely timed. I have a super important question I feel you can help me with. I'm listening. Let's do it. On 160p. Oh, God. That's cringy. All right. We are ready to go. Let's hop in. Look at my, my red-green badgers. I, w I also wouldn't mind an unstable stream because that's a fun set. Come on, somebody join this queue. It's just standard, guys. It really shouldn't be that hard to... Uh to fire, but then again, Magic Online might be at a... You know, a thing. It's a thing. I got the Hangman Rare? Is that a thing? I don't even know what that is. I'm going to be wearing these glasses up until the point where we start. Maybe even after that point. Did you ever think about that? Oh, we did it. Got game 07. Oh, seven. Oh, seven. Okay. 
Will I keep this hand? Yes, I will. Will I keep this hand? Yes, I will. This hand is great. Uh, the grazer is almost the same as... No, it's not because we don't get to play. So the grazer is almost the same as this. <clears throat> they both put two lands in a play on turn one. But if we don't hit a land on turn two... Yeah, see, then we would have only had the two lands in play. Uh, if you control four more creatures, transform it. I don't foresee this guy getting pinged very much, so we're just going to do this. I guess we'll get God Eternal Ronus, because that is the only option that we have. Any order. They did not do anything. So what we're going to do is Tormenting Voice here. Discard a pretty easy Zyrtog Goblin, I think. Play this guy. Doesn't really matter. We really just want to hit four cards for this. <laughs> Unfortunately, how many lands are in the deck? That's a question I have. 23? With Grazer, I feel like you might want more, but I don't know. All right, they got two lands now. Three lands now. We're doing it. Uh-oh, are they going to hit a fourth land? Wow, that's so many lands that you just hit on, on a single turn. The beginning of your end step. So that's one, two. We can just play God's Eternal Runners, but I think we'd rather just put... I think we'd rather flip this, right? Still get in there for a, a point of damage. <clears throat> Seems good. Gift of Paradise, huh? Okay. Okay. Excuse me. One, two, three, we'll district guide. Uh, I can get a guild gate. Add a green and a play a carnage, a tire and my land. Seems good. I'm your dad. Are you? Are you? The questions we ask ourselves. Are you my dad? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to do a paternity test. We'll have to get to the bottom of this. The dad mystery runs deep. How much mana can we make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we can definitely play lots of things. Let's play Vivian Reed and see what happens. Let's plus Vivian Reed. Are they got an enchantment over here? I'm going to get rid of that. Pa pow Put that in the garbage can. What does this do? 14, 16? Lot? Let's kill him. Those glasses are something for sure. You're right. These are my natural these are my natural eyes, Katie. These are my natural eyes. Look with your natural eyes. Look, even these little shitbirds got Oh no, they're gonna root <gasps> Oh I vomited in my mouth. Oh god, it's so bad. I feel like a bad time was just had by everybody. Look at me with your natural eyes. Put that in your garbage can and... Oh, God. They, do they have another one? All right. Well, we're going to keep finding Ronuses. Are you ready uh, for another Roni? Another rice -a roni I mean, they kind of still have to have one, right? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Twelve thousand damage. This is 17. They're like, I guess I'll just go to three. 
look with your natural eyes. God, it's like they don't even care. I guess we're just playing this. Pow. I mean, I don't foresee them wiping the board, but boy, am I going to feel dumb if they do. Boy, am I going to feel dumb. Man, there's a lot of Gift of Paradise. Just another day for you and me. Gift of Paradise. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. I just answered my phone and said, Welcome to Subway. I clearly work too much. Wow. Wow. That's brutal. That's pretty nuts, though, my dude. What are you doing here? Okay. I'm uh, going to get a Foresto. As they say in the Italy. I could also get rid of this Gift of Paradise, but I don't want to lose my Vivian for that. I could do it next turn if I'm really super concerned with it. Yeah, ain't no need to rush. Oh, look, a third... A second, third root, root snare. Root, rune snare. Rune, Rooney McTutor snare. What's he saying? Nobody knows. It's literally gibberish. <clears throat> I'm just going to attack with this guy just for the heck of it. You know why? Send a message. Sometimes you just got to let him know that you can. You just got just to gotta get in there. Do your... Do your business. Oh, you're gonna get back your rune. Your I'm gonna call it rune snare until I die. Okay, okay. Does this prevent all combat damage that we dealt this turn? Wow. Wow. Do I want to kill this? I don't know. Probably. Is there a creature that I could draw that would get around this? I don't know. Probably not. Rune snore. I'm going to just keep using... I'm going to keep making them ruse, ruse their, their noon snores. One to your face and one to that tomato. One to that hot, hot tomato. What's that you say? It's hot potato? Hmm. That is awkward. I see. I'm going to play this guy just so I can get a land out of my deck. Ah, Rooney McTootie Snare. What's he saying? Nobody knows. He's basically... He's basically brain dead. Alright, well. Come at me, bro. That's what the kids say. The kids say, uh, come at me, bro. I'll Fortnite you. That's what they, that's what the kids all do. Choose a non-land card name. What do you name? Let's see. Spin that wheel. Wilderness Reclamation. And you hit. Wow, that is so good. So good. Are they going to go... Are they going to go untap my lands? I'm going to tap two in response, you see. <laughs> yes. And then I'm going to untap my lands and I'm going to play Nexus of Fate. And this card, you see, it allows me to take an additional turn after the current turn. And there I get to play I get to play two turns in a row. Whereas you forfeit your turn uh, unintentionally. So you see, I, I have the advantage because I'm taking more of the turns in the game than uh, normally would be attributed to, to both players, you see. Oh, God. I would stuff again after that monologue. Good. Good. What did they name? They named Nexus of Fate and they didn't hit. You know why? Because they suck. 
So after this, they shouldn't have another turn, right? What a painfully boring deck. I agree. I'm gonna name, I'm gonna name decks as a fade again. You understand, that's kind of my engine for the deck, and uh, that didn't, didn't hit it. Okay, goodbye. I got another one in my head, though. You see, I just like, I like playing decks as a fate. And I'm just gonna draw two more cards, and uh, then I'm gonna try to hit a decks as a fate naturally, like... Like as if I didn't have a, no, I didn't, like it's like I didn't even have one in my hand right now. Here we go. Here we go. I'll tap these three in response to my wilderness reclamation trigger, you see. Mm, hey, Bert. It's like a, it's like an Ernie voice I'm doing here. Thanks for explaining. Yeah, I got, I, it's for the people, you know. Oh, they're just doing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now, oh, they look how fast he's tapping. He's like, I hit it. I can't believe I hit my Nexus of Fate. I'm so happy with my life choices that I hit my Nexus of Fate. You almost had another turn in the game of Magic the Gathering, but instead, I hit my Nexus of Fates. I'm super excited. I can't really control my excitement, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to represent that when I quickly tap my lands in response to drawing uh, the desired Nexus of Fate. What, what is that? Just like... Sure. Nexus of hate is more like it because it makes you hate yourself. I hate myself. What'd you do? Oh, you just returned the root snare. The rune snore. Is it my turn? Oh, because you got rune snare. Of course it is. Of course it's my turn. But of course it is your turn. I guess I'll make you use it. Use it or lose it. Use it or snooze it. Go to your face. Go to your face. Is that 4-4? Four, four? Sure. So you can actually block here or take 5. So we actually got to make sure that we... Let's incentivize you to, to use that... Runums McSnarums. Okay. You got it. Oh, I have a search for Ascanta active now that I could just... I could just use this and find all the Nexus of Fates I could ever want. So, uh, we're having a... I don't know if it was apparent from my... Yeah, I'm just going to go to the next game. I don't know if it was apparent from the voices I was doing, but this is not a fun uh, match of Magic the Gathering. Okay, so... Well, Rexage should probably come in. Immortal Sun could also come in, I guess. It shuts down their Tamiyo, but shuts down our Vivian Reed. Uh, this also destroys an enchantment. I'm just going to bring in all the cards that destroy enchantments. I also kind of like Lightning Strike here, but I don't know how many cards we're going to be taking out here. I think Finale might be a little too uh, ambitious in this matchup. Same thing with Growing Rights. And we can take out the Grazers. And these guys are actually never getting hit, so maybe we take these guys out instead and bring back Growing Rights, but then we don't have the as many creatures, so. Eh, bring back two Grazers. Oh, we do have Rex Ages, though, so like maybe the Growing Rights are pretty good. Yeah, this seems fine. Break me off a piece of that fancy feast. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, we'll manage. We'll manage with this. We got a tormenting voice that we can fashion into some better cards.
I want to play Tormenting Voice and discard a Tormenting Voice. Just because we want to hit some lands. We hit none. That's something right there. Now we hit one. I feel like Elvish Rejuvenator might actually be better than District Guide in this deck. Because it does ramp you faster. I also feel like it's probably better than Grazer uh, with the amount of lands that we have. Because now we'd be able to play Vivian Reed. Vivian Norman Reedus. Can actually kill one of your two lands. This is a pretty unfun deck to play against. I will not, uh, I'm not gonna lie. So now they could put two counters on this though and kill everything. I, I totally didn't consider that because, oh, they're not gonna do that. Fascinating. I specifically didn't play District Guide because I didn't want to, uh, didn't want to have all three of them. I mean, I, I, theoretically, if we played District Guide, they probably would have valued the uh, counters on Blast Sun a lot higher. Oh, they old tap mana, do nothing, pass the turn. Seems good. Actually, just want the land here. With four Carnage Tyrants, I don't think we're in any uh, any risk of not hitting another Carnage Tyrant. So many Chemisters Insights. Yep, and now now it begins. Oh, I'll float two mana and then I'll just play Nexus of Fate. Welcome to one of the least fun standard decks in a long time. Oh, that's a cool story. I guess on the bright side, Tamio can't hit, uh, she can't get back Nexus of Fate from uh, from the graveyard. That's a small silver lining. All right. I'm 
is very far. This doesn't feel like a nexus of fate. There's chemistry's insight. And then we get to untap. This can't go off next turn, so I guess that's okay. Well, oh, good old Kebbelster's insight again. Do you see? Got here. What did they name? Nexus of Fate? Oh, cool. They hit it. Fantastic. Wow, is this Tammy over miserable? We should have just killed it. We should have just killed it while we. You should have killed me when you had the chance, Charles! None that time. Sounds good. At least you have plenty of time to talk to chat. Oh, they had another one. That's nice. Fixed blade or folders? Prefer what does that even mean? I don't even know what that means. This is hell, right? Like, I mean, if you if you were if there was literally a heaven and a hell in real life, like hell is just literally sitting down against an opponent playing this deck for the rest of your life right that's just hell oh like a fixed blade would be just like a knife knife and then like a folder would be like something like this I think folders just because of their portability and their convenience Plus, I feel like you can keep the blade in better shape with uh, with something like this. Whereas, like, I mean, you're going to have, like, a sheath with a regular knife, I assume.
All right, we're done here. We are done here. Okay. Uh, are we gonna change anything? Let's try it. rejuvenation. Elvish Rejuvenator instead. Because I'd rather land come into play because we go straight from three to five, so I can't see a reason why we wouldn't have Rejuvenator instead. Um, other than that, I'm not sure what we need yet. Really didn't get a didn't get a great great example there. I'm gonna wait though because if that same person comes in, I'm good. And by good I mean I'm out. You'll get caught up in the bane fire. Bane fire could actually be pretty decent. I like a bane fire. I like one bane fire in the main deck actually, because you're trying to make mana, right? Maybe two Bane Fire. Let's put two Bane Fire in place of two Arboreal Grazers. No, the Grazers are fine though. I'm gonna take out one. Take out one wrap. Uh, maybe take out the Zertog. I'm gonna take out one Zertog Goblin. I'm gonna take out one Raptor. The problem with the Raptor is that you just have to actually. It has to be dealt damage. Oh god, people coming in here with their fucking troll Game of Thrones spoilers. Like, what's. Why? What do you get out of it? You can't even spell correctly. Like, you spell like an idiot. Learn how to spell people's names, at least. Alright. I just don't understand, like, me personally. Like, I don't understand the enjoyment people get out of that. Like,. What do you get out of it? And if your answer is like, I like tormenting people, then you're probably a psychopath and you probably enjoy torturing animals as well. Like, it's just a weird, just a weird, like, what do you call it? It's, it's, it's a weird habit. Yeah, sad face is right. Sad, oh, look at this, look at this bane fire. It's going to be doing the Lord's work here. Got him. Oh, man. Banefire is at its best. They're like, man, I kept that hand because of Banefire. And I'm like, too bad. Suck on those eggs. You... All right, top five, top five. Yeah. I'm going to take the Gruel Gate. The Gruel Gate? The Gruel Guild Gate, because the other card's still in our deck. If we shuffle our deck, I'd rather draw that than a Gruel Guild Gate at a later point, so. More like Bane Fart. Yeah, I'll take one. I'll, I'll take that. I agree to your terms. This is rough. But not really, I guess. I don't want to. I don't want to drop a Ronus here, a, a Roro. So we're just gonna Bane Bubbleo. That was pretty good. That was a good meme. Uh, well, that's a lot of creatures. I'm gonna take the one I can cast and still be able to play Growing Rights next turn. Whereas, like the other ones are just repeats of these guys, and we don't have the land for that yet. Three, I'll probably... Eh, I think we're still fine taking it. Reason being that, like, I'd rather have creatures on board for the growing rights. Come on. We can get a land here, right? 
barely. We can hit Rejuvenator. Rejuvenator comes into play tapped, right? Yeah, so we can go Rejuvenator, Zerta. That doesn't do much. I'd rather just have the land and play this fat idiot. Because they're still pretty far away from having the city's blessing. So. All right, I think we're doing it. This guy makes us a 14-14. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty big. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we can hit a land, we can actually play Zyrtog Goblin as a two. I guess it's got to be a two-two if it's riding. What do you got for me? You got a little land? You got a little land for me on the tippy top? You do? Oh, that's so, so that's so sweet. So let's go Zert, Zerty Boy with the haste. And then this guy. We'll see what this guy does. Thank you. Mean mugger with the race of I'm your dad. <laughs> you know, I'm not so sure, but I'm gonna uh, I'll default to you. You are a doctor after all. Trust me. I'm a doctor. So I think they just go 2, 1, 4, 3, 4, 2, 3, 5, and then they take 14. Eh. It's, those are good blocks, though. Yep, there's that. There's that to take 14. Which means they probably could have just attacked with the 14, 6, but then they have to double block it. And they can double block it at that point and then trade. Which I think is worse. I think it's probably just better to have the Carnage Tyrant on the board. So... So if they can get three permanents out, I don't think they can. There's one. They need two permanents off of three lands. It's got to be like Lana War Elf, Merfolk, Branch Walker, and then flip this guy. I kind of just want to kill this. We have a lot of things to do here. So if we play other Aronis, they double block, but then we keep Aronis on the board. Yeah, that seems good. One, two, three, four, five. Choose Aronis to keep. The good one. Duh. Uh, yeah, put them back. Sure, we can just draw it again. I mean, they have to block both of these, and blocking this, so they go 3-5 here, 4-3 here, I imagine, yep. That seems good for us. I'm no magic expert, guys, but... Play this guy. All right, won that game. What are we bringing against this matchup? Let's take out a Grazer. I like Lava Coils because they kill all the things. Hmm. I don't think we need four Tormenting Voices here. Bother Sean, what's going on, buddy? What? is going on so Elvish Rejuvenator did actually uh, perform admirably here <laughs> it's just straight more frequently congrats on uh, didn't you graduate recently congrats on that if so 
if I remember correctly. Kind of like this hand. If we can hit a land in the next two turns, we can uh, play a turn two rejuvenator, which is pretty sweet. I will keep turn one grazer into guildgate. Turn two this guy. All right, that's not a land. That is what's known as a plus six drop. Uh, I've been playing Arena pretty consistently. I headed over to MTGO for this because I didn't have all the wild cards necessary. Land. Just like we uh, drew it up, as the kids say. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Get him. Yeah. Get wrecked, hobo stew. Land? Oh, that's such a good hit. Could run us here. Probably just growing rights. Renus does not seem super great here, but it's still 5-5. Five, five. Alright, so good looking for like a one or two drop. We hit nothing. We hit nothing. That was sad. Disco Stew doesn't advertise. Hey, Disco Stew, that guy's winning, Jack. <sighs> okay, okay. How about now? That's all right. I like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still pretty far from uh, from the city's blessing. No, no blessings for you. What is? Oh, this is the this is the mic. Okay, I was like, what is this thing that's sticking out here? We need one more creature to flip this thing. Come on, one time. Paradise Druid does seem like a good choice. Probably better than Zertod Goblin. For sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is nine. That would be ten. All right. Well, hmm. I'll take nine. I'll go to nine.
just gonna get in there with this guy you have to double block in order to to deal with him I don't think you're going to so now we get to flip our growing rights Bolus's Citadel. Oh boy. What does this do? You can look at the top card layer and play the top card layer if you cast a spell. Look at this. What is this border here? <laughs> do you see this border going around here? I guess we can see what we're doing with Tormenting Voice first. Let's get rid of a Carnage Tyrant here. So, one, two, three. We can actually play this guy, play Stomping Ground, and then still play Carnage Tyrant. Sacrifice 10 non for each opponent loses 10 life. Oh, so they can just kill us next turn with this? Non land permanence. Okay, that is relevant. Wow, that'd be insane. So I only have four, four non land permanence at this juncture. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So they have to be able to cast four more permanents. No, five more permanents, right? One, two, three, four, five. This deck seems sweet. Greaser voice. What a Blaine. <laughs> All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oh, they only need three cards, don't they? Oh boy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and eleven. Why don't you just kill me? What are you doing? Can you kill me? I don't know what you're doing. All right, I'm just gonna—I'll do it for you because you're just gonna sit here and dirtle for the next hour. So I'll just—I'll uh, just go to the next game for you. I saw a bunch more things that that reclamation sage cares about. I don't think we hear about lava quill as much as we thought we did. keep this yeah the question is what is the red doing for us and I'm not actually sure
This is a lot of creatures. We just emptied our hand, though, so I guess that's a thing. Red is doing a whole bunch of nothing. I like that you agree. I like it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana total. Growing rights could be good here. Holy ramp. You right. Got a whole lot of whole lot of lands and not a lot of payoff at the moment. We could finale for five. Zerta Goblin. Let's trade. Oof, they taken two. That is a good one. They put that in the graveyard and they drew that? Sure. Rex Age. Oh, that was... Look, we did it. Alright, well. We are, uh... A little behind. We're trying to cast Finale for 12. What's the easiest way to get to 12 mana in standard? Wayward Sword 2 is pretty good. Well, that's going to be good later when they have the Bolus is Citadel or what have you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. <sighs> yep, gotta kill that. So we're just hoping they whiff on. <laughs> Yikes. Oh my god. Why are there not more lands on the top of your deck, dude? I mean, they can't play much now that they're at three. Okay, so they got four, I guess. Can we lightning strike them? Because that'd be gas. They go to one here? That'd be insane. We just draw like Bane Fire or Lightning Strike. Play the other Wayward Swordtooth. No? That's sad. Now they have to be like, do I sacrifice 10 permanents? Cast down on... On the Grazer? Huh. Oh, was that on the top of your library? Interesting. Interesting. 
I'm still hoping we draw lightning strike. I think we got a turn probably. All four Jade Light Rangers are on the board, which is pretty hilarious. Citadel number two? Sure. I mean, without a third Citadel, it's pretty okay for us because they have to sacrifice 10 dudes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. And they only have 11 on board. And they're at, what did they get rid of? They got rid of two grazers? They got rid of two of our little guys? That's just rude. Why are they getting rid of when they're, when they're at one, why are they getting rid of the creatures with no power rather than the creatures with actual power? I don't understand what's going on here. I'm having a confuse. Oh, that that's gonna do it. That's gonna put them into like thousand life range. Unless they just keep unless they just get, oh, God, I'm just dying. Oh my god. Like, why are there so many decks in standard that are just so dirtily? Like, you're just watching your opponent do nonsense. I'm pretty sure the two matches we played are just literal dirtle decks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so we're still hoping to draw Banefire for seven. <laughs> and so we take one, two, three, four, five, six here. Sure. They also have 11 cards in their deck. They've played 51, 59 of their cards. That's pretty... Or 49 of their cards. That's pretty ridiculous. Banefire. Stomping Ground. All right. Let's go to the next uh, the next match, I guess. All right. Clues. Okay. So let's take a look. We're going we're gonna to have to re retool this nonsense. Red is not doing anything for us. I'm also going to take out the Grazers and put in Paradise Druid. Because that card is just... Be oh, I only have one. That's so sad. I'll just pick up more. Those are cheap. They better be cheap. Watch them be like, two tickets for a Paradise Druid. I'll just be like, no, I'm done. I'm out. All right, we're trying to hit this. What's the best way to make a million mana in this format? I actually like Wayward Sword Tooth. That guy's pretty cool. Also, that Nissa does seem friggin' great, actually. Let's say four of those Nissas. Let's go crazy. What if this is just mono green? I guess Field of Ruin's so good. Yeah, Incubation Druid almost seems better than Paradise Druid.
Hmm. I just entered Druid. I'm sure that's going to end well. Shard that adds mana for each shard? What does that even mean? Oh, Power Stone Shard? Ah, oh, that's interesting. Mew Horizons? <laughs> um, I like Swordtooth because it lets you play two lands a turn. And it's also a big fat idiot. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Solid. Oh, well, that one works, but that one doesn't. So that is the dark one, and that is the light one, I guess. Not a big ranging raptors fan, because, like, again, they have to be dealt damage. I don't think that's super common. The phone keyboard is too small for my big hands. Oh... I do like Crassus. Especially with Nyssa. Um, what are the lands we want? Breeding. And Hinter. So four and four, all right, yeah, all right. Probably like two islands, just to make life easier. So you got Wayward Swordtooths. Tamiyo's blue-green, but it doesn't actually help us here. Come on. <coughs> oh, man, that was miserable. Whew. I mean, the, the sneeze felt great, but it wasn't. Uh... Chugrin, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Yeah, I like uh, Kiora a lot. Kiora is probably better than growing rights. Maybe. Check out these rejuvenators. Rejuvi boys. I don't know how this deck would fare. What about negate? Just, just your good old-fashioned negate in the sideboard. I feel like Hydroid Crassus is just better than Blue Finale, right? Cut one growing rights. I I do like the other blue green hydra. Do you want four Nissa or three Nissa? Probably three Nissa, but I do want to always hit this Nissa, I think. As fun? Probably not. What up, Chugrin? Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Frilled Mystic? I don't think we want double blue here. I also think we have to cut two cards, so I'm pretty sure we want to be cutting before we're adding. Cut one Paradise Druid. Mm. 
Let me cut one Nissa. All right, what do we need to what do we need to borrow here? Paradise Druid. How many? Three. Yeah, I'll get three anyway. Nissa, who shakes the world. Kiora. Kiora Behemoth Beckoner. These are also super cheap, by the way. And Hydroid Crassis. Is that it? One, two, three, four. I believe so. Make sure we don't want anything else. Um, we have Wayward Swords of the God's Eternal and Carnage Tyrant and Hydroid Crashes that are going to trigger this Kiora, which is pretty nice. But again, like this and Sword Tooth should ramp us to five pretty easily. We might actually want the fourth Nissa over the God Eternal Ronus. I think we actually do. How about one spicy pig? <laughs> I do like one Ugin. We can just put the Ugin in the sideboard as well. Uh, I actually do not own power. Uh, I think this is fine like this. All right, let's borrow these cards again. Heading to manatraders.com and uh, getting uh, the cards from one of their subscription services. You should definitely check that out. You can use the promo code and the link in my description to get 20% off any subscription for the first three months. Definitely check these guys out, they're great. You can rent physical paper cards or digital Magic Online cards. So, either one. Is, uh, is is an option and you get 20% off for the first three months. Uh, I've owned power in the past. I never had a full set though. I mean, I don't feel like we want Endraiser just because we're, we're playing Finale, which I think is probably gonna supplement that aspect. Also, you have four Carnage Tyrant and four and three Hydroid Crassus. Uh, or, uh, yeah, I mean, like, this is a lot of late game beef already. And then when you're done, Mana Traders will open up the trade. And you just take. Is there a take all button? Nope. Seven Commander Man Cause Wolf? That is a pig, buddy. That is an end that is a boar. Ideally we do not mess this up and we have all of our things. I'm gonna add one more island just because I don't wanna like I guess the only card we're splashing for is Crassus, so maybe not. And yeah, let's try it like this. Actually, I don't like I don't like Immortal Sun anymore because we have eight Planeswalkers in the main deck. So what are we putting in the sideboard? Is there a card that like protects all our creatures, like an unbreakable formation kind of thing? Uh, give you guys Hexproof? That could be good. I mean, we could use, like, Lazo Tips. Yeah, I don't know if that's great, though. It's 
kind of mediocre, right? Is Dispel legal and standard? That'd be insane, right? <laughs> no, dummy. That card's very good. I'll just play two spell pierce. Thank sure. You. All right. Tanos with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back, my friend. Always a pleasure to see you. Yeah, we named it Red Green Badgers because the deck was originally Badger. Uh, the, the deck was originally Red Green, and uh, it was submit, submitted by uh, RPG Badger, so we called it Red Green Badgers. But now it is more Blue Green Badgers, I guess. I will play first. You know what? It's not it's not super exciting, but I'll keep it. Yeah, you're gonna show up late. You're gonna show up on turn turn two. It's real cool, buddy. Real cool. You're a real cool dude. Well, so long, Ronus. Did your rent go up? No, it's always been seven fifty. It's not just the rent though. It's always been rent. It's like rent and utilities. It's my monthly bill. It's my monthly cost to live in this home. <laughs> that is my. That is my. Uh, that is what the. That is the what it takes care of. But it's always been that. It's always been seven fifty, or it has been for a while at least. Thank you, Jay Sizzle. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, a little look at this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just play Carnage Tyrant, I guess. Well, for some reason, I thought it was four fifty, five fifty. Wow, that'd be, that'd be nice. That would be nice. The rent is too damn high. It's okay, guys. I'm only it's I'm a millennial, so I'll never be able to afford my own home. I'll just rent for the rest of my existence. Jokes on them. They don't want any of our cards. This is where they take a Kiora or a Nissa. That's my guess. The ceramic field by point out yeah. No, I I mean that's obvious. But some millennials just uh they just they just uh they have they've made they've made better choices, I guess. We'll we'll, we'll say that. Oh, the Kiora went to the graveyard. They're like, I don't want your Kiora. Oh, they just took a Paradise Druid? I just want to make you feel better. I don't believe that's true at all. I think, Tonos, I think the last thing you want to do for anybody is make them feel bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We already have 10 mana here. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> he's on to me yeah you really strike me as a guy who goes around making people feel bad 
That's the first impression I got of you. I was like, man, this guy is just... He just bathes in misery. It's unbelievable. I feel like I'm going to miss renting a bit. Now that I have a house, there will always be stuff to do. That's the thing I miss, though. Like, not that I can't even say miss because I've never owned my own home. But, like, that's the thing I look forward to, I guess you might say. Is that uh, there's all these things, these little things I'd want to fix. Like, I want to I change the countertops. Or I want to get a new fridge. You know, it's just, just really, like, boring homeowner shit. But I can't even do it because I don't own this house. So I'm not going to, like, buy a new fridge for this house I rent. I'm not going to, like, change the countertops in this house I rent. So it sucks that I just can't. I can't live in the exact house I want to live in, you know, or make it more, uh, more, more preferable to my aesthetic, um, because I don't own the house. So I just have to like, literally like, Oh, you can paint the walls this color. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I live here. So whatever. Oh, I got the uh, tile floor here. All right. That's fine. I guess it's whatever I live here. So yeah. Renting is really, uh, you take, you take it as it is, you know? Here comes the old Kaya's Wrath. That'd be weird if they go Thief of Sanity turn three, Kaya's Wrath turn four. And the Nissa. Look, the two cards will like, take our cure. No, they're gonna take our Nissa, but they both they put both in the graveyard. They put both in the trash can. Enter the God Eternal. On a on a Lanor elf. You got it. That's fine. And they milled us. Good lord. Ooh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can do this for eight. Hmm. Shut up and take my money. Boring homeowner feed is too stressful. I have some money to go get your 42% of their farm. <laughs> Donos, you are awesome. Oh, even better. 41.69. That's a nicer number. Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. I really appreciate you. And, uh, all you do. All you do. One, two, uh, so what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine. So we can search for something worth seven. Does Ronus just win here? I mean, the thing is, like, we can't attack with this, right? We're only attacking with this for 14. So I don't see how... Does Ronus get haste? I don't think so. We're one mana shy of being able to cast Ronus. Search for Ronus, right? So, like... And even if they block here, they take 14 and go to two. So, like, there's... I can't I can't see how... The, like, we, we're, there's in no way do we win with Aronis. Maybe we can wait a turn. I mean, but they, if they have a Thought Erasure in hand, it's pretty rough. This is much nicer because, unlike Arena, I don't have to, like, worry about timing out. Well, it's a nicer number because of six because of the sixty nine. It's nice. Come on, come on. Get get it together. All right, so we can search for something with four. We can activate this and search for something up to seven. I really don't know which is better though. Eh. I think we just attack with both. If they block here, that's fine. They take seven. And then next turn, we can threaten lethal with Ronus. Or we can probably just attack with Carnage Tyrant, because they're just going to block here and take seven. And if they block here, they take three. They go 13. I think that's fine. Is there anything in here with Haste or Riot? No. Most of the Riot cards are either red or... Uh, Red green. Are there any just mono green riot cards that are standard playable? Rampaging Worm is red green. Zerta Goblin's red green. Rhythm of the Wild is red green. Quite seriously, the past three plus years, we've been ta ta talking about a remodel. I've done a shit ton of CAD work for design and layout, but there's not been time for the rest of the junk. CG quote, yeah, I, GC quotes, full design, picking out a million. D military, yeah, that that makes sense. I, I, I'm pretty sure that if I if I, when it went if and when I buy a home like it's gonna be much more overwhelming than I thought it would be, but it's still something that like it beats renting I think right. 
I still think that would beat renting because renting just gets really old and like you're just paying so much more like the, the the house itself that we live that we rent is 1500 a month so like you know i mean well it's not a tremendous amount uh this same house would probably be like have an 800 hundred dollar mortgage instead so like you just pay you just pay twice as much every month for uh for something you don't actually get to own Okay, so they're going to gain 6 and go to go back to 16. So they basically just uh, broke even. They got 2 mana, so we can finale for Ronus, attack for 14, 20 exactly if they don't play a creature or have a way to counter our finale or a removal spell for uh, for incub incub Incubation Druid. Is there a site email like it's in a modern table? Yes, uh, frank at franklaport.com actually. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are two mana away. We could also just wait one more turn and um, play this and try to do this for a million. Yeah, you can check out. I also have info on like deck critiques and stuff in my Twitch profile and in the YouTube profile. So depending on the YouTube description, rather. So depending on where you're looking. You can find all that information. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This would be 11. So 12. Oh, man. We're so close, right? Rent around here is now 2 to 3. Yep. That, that does not surprise me at all. Yeah, Tanos, your house doubling in value is utterly insane. Like, that's such an insane... That's a, such an awesome feeling, right? Um, so if we, if we just do Ronus here, we're, this is 14 damage and they just block here, right? So they just go to two, but then they still have Soren on board. Whereas otherwise we can just double attack Soren right now. This guy takes two green, right? Which is nice because if they steal it, they can't actually adapt it. Attack Soren. Attack Soren. It's awkward because if you attack with both, then they have no no reason to block. But if they attack, I guess they. But if you just attack with this, then Soren goes to one. I guess Soren could go to one. I don't want the I don't want the lifelink to stick around. Is really where I'm at. Where is a standard legal Woodfall Primus? You ain't kidding, my dude. I kind of sort of not really feel bad for our neighbors. We got our windows replaced with energy efficient ones within a year of moving in, but never got the exterior replacement panels painted. So they are still raw cedar. Who cares? <laughs> Please. They can suck it. Oh, no homeowners association is nice too because no one can tell you to fix it. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's raw cedar. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. All right. Do they play counter spells? That you wonder. I wonder. Like, if we just get this Dovin veto, Dovin's vetoed, I'm just gonna be real sad. Stop stealing my things. There is one Ronus in the graveyard. We can still we can still just grab the graveyard Ronus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is eleven mana. If we hit a land, we can do it for twelve. 
We'll have Carnage Tyrant. We'll search for Ronus. Ronus will have Haste. They will all get plus 10, plus X, plus X. Just tap out for something stupid. Uh, that's fine. You're going to bounce this? Oh, that's so bad. Oh, God. They keep going up to 16, and it's just like, this guy deals 14, and that's like the best we can do. Oh, they're paying costs. Lanowar <laughs> Elf, right. Sure. I mean, Druid's just worse than Finale, because Finale is just a Druid, so... Man, they just had to hit... And we would have hit it, too. I want a Manatee as well. Being in Florida, I feel like I'm as, I'm, I'm as close as they come, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still seven. There's like no creature, no green creature that can kill a flyer. That's so dumb. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're not even close though, so we're just gonna play the land. And just do it for six and see what we can hit. It could just be Ronus attack for like a million. Crawl Harpooner. Yeah, but it just dies. Oh man, raw cedar. We want to search library? Yeah, we can search library. Library is gonna have all the same things. God, I want to draw one of these hydroid crises. Could just get another carnage tyrant. Double carnage tyrant seems very strong. Where did they? There's only one god eternal Ronus in the graveyard, but they don't have anything else exiled. Do we only have two? Oh, we only have two. Do we only have two? <laughs> Do we only have two? They don't have anything else exiled. Where does it say one exiled card? There's nothing on here. And there's nothing in the exiled pile. Oh, it's, it would be my exiled. Oh, okay. So it is. Oh, they do have a gut. They do have a Roni. A Roni boy. A, a macaroni. A macaroni boy. A macaroni. Um, oh boy, that's scary actually next turn because this is four and we just have to block a bunch of things. I think they just win with our Ronus next turn. I don't actually think either one of these is better. Yeah, there's one exiled card. It's right here. Okay, these two are not scary with this because we could actually just take the four, five, six. So we just need to block these two. And this is just gonna block here. Man, even that land of where else was awkwardly good for them. All right. Well, renting is a way to live and you don't have to fix stuff but paying for a home that you don't control can be rough you can't tear down a wall even if you want to or walk around is, is another thing you can't really do but in a house you have all the work all the time sometimes it's stressful even to rhyme but a big lawn and a grill too is nice is a nice thought so yeah I think it was a good thing I bought so let's just be happy for having a place to stay either way we always have to pay <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zaxor, you are a solid gentleman. Thomas, one of the funny things about Washington is that every, like, all of the houses look so similar. Like, this house you linked, it I, I could have sworn this is one of the exact houses that was on my street when I lived there.
Like, I would almost be like, hey, I could have sworn this was on my block. Like, all the houses in Washington look so similar. It's so funny. Here we go. Big fat Ronis. Oh, just the Teferi. Is that all? Oh, and they have enough mana for Ronis so they can just bounce our... Yeah. Oh, uh, well, it's not dead yet. Especially because they tapped these guys, so that's fine. Yup. They're at one right now? God, how do I deal them one point of damage? These guys don't have trample. Oh, but no. Wow. They're, just, they're pretty big, though. Six and four. Ugh. Vomitous. Why doesn't Carnage Tyrant have reach? He doesn't have reach, right? Yeah, we're just going to the next game. Okay, so this is where these negates come in. Um, take out the Paradise Druids, bring in three negates. Take out two Kioras, bring in a negate and a spell pierce. Actually, three negates is probably fine, right? Because they do have a lot of creatures. This is like a creature based thing. Arboreal Grazer has reach. It's actually quite good at blocking um, Thief of Sanities, but... But the problem with Arboreal Grazer is that sometimes you just don't have the land to put into play. Conjections, are you sending me an email? I'm not saying use the contact page. I'm saying, like, send an email to frank at franklapore.com. That's the email address. I told you a year and a half ago that I ran into one of the guys you practice with for the Pro the LGS. What's fun is looking up my address and Mara's and realizing how much friendly trolling I could do by sending him things from Tano's. <laughs> oh man. Who is this? I keep getting I keep getting packages from Tano's. Yeah, I've actually I went to Mark Rosewater's house several times when I was in Washington for different different functions, different like barbecues and parties and stuff. He has a very nice view. There's a very nice view from his 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 backyard balcony. Did you touch his face? <laughs> I didn't. I did not touch his face. But I did partake of his food and beverage. Yeah, from that hill go down towards QFC then past the, and that's where I Oh, that's yeah, that's I know that area. That's a really nice area. The views are fantastic. I mean, if we have what is draw like 5,000 lands, I think we're good. Well, that's rude. Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> Who even cares about that card? Oh, we did hit a land. We did hit a land. Let's play this guy for now. The next turn we can activate this. One, two, three, four. If we hit a land, it's even better. We could also play Wayward Sword Tooth here. That might be better than whatever nonsense they do.
Oh, nothing happened, huh? All right, well, I'm going to pass here. It doesn't look like they have any white mana, which is nice. But if they try to kill something, we can activate and negate. Sure. One, two. Yep. If we hit a land, we're just going to go Hydroid Crassus for four. We did not hit a land. Now let's keep a blue up. Let's keep one, two, three. We'll figure this out. We'll get it. Oh yeah, hit that Kiora. Hit that Kiora. Are they going to have a counter for Hydroid Crassus? I don't think so. <laughs> oh man. What are you talking about, Platypus? What are you talking about? What's got into that Platypus? Friskies. Remember that song? What's got into that, that, that Platypus Frisky song from the... 70s. What's got into that platypus? Friskies. That was when they had their platypus brands brand food. It's going downhill real fast, guys. What is this you're playing? Just play whatever you're playing. What's the hold up here? Sure. Thief of Schmanity. Thief of O oh, the Humanity. One, two, three, four, five. Untap this. Six. Unless you have essence scatter. Boom, 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 boom. Thief of Manatees. No one's the Thief of Manatees. We get, we get that shit under lockdown, buddy. That, that is, um, we have protections against Manatee Thieves, buddy. This is Florida. We don't, we take our Manatee business seriously, all right? So here you me. One, two, three, four, five. We can play Nissa. Add to, untap, add to. Keep up negate. Oh, it's Tefri. Hmm. That was pretty rude. I hope I draw a land so I can just uh, Hydroid Crassus for more. Oh, they're actually going to find a Hydroid Crassus. Good lord. This is my Teferi Thief of Sanity combo, you see. <laughs> Ooh, Please never, never stop using that voice. And he never did. Hmm. 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 
Byron, if that's you, I believe I got your email. All right. Um, is it Counter Awareness? Is it Nissa? We actually have a lot of things we can do here, and I'm really, I'm really enjoying the fact that unlike Arena, I can digest all of my, all of my options here. Hmm. I mean, we can easily kill Smeffery here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can we put two things on the board? I don't think so. Well, we can Hydroid Crassus and hope to hit a land. So three, four, five, six. Yeah, I guess we're just going to do this again. I'm going to leave the land untapped because if we hit another land, we can we can still negate. It's pretty nice. I'd rather have a four four with the potential in the gate than uh than a five five. And then we have to hit two lands. That seems bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what we hit no lands. Jeez. We drew three cards, hit no lands. Come on. Come on. If we hit one land, we could not only negate, we could actually attack Teferi and it forces them to either trade their Teferi or trade their Deputy of Detention. Well, I guess that's just how it is. That's brutal. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can also make a Crassus for four, which is just great. This is one of my least favorite cards against Hydroid Crassus because even if you get it back, it doesn't matter, but they can cast it. So now they have two ways to cast our Hydroid Crassuses. They're doing very well for themselves, whereas we're not hitting lands and it's very sad for everyone involved. Although this is easily illustrating why you want four Hydroid Crassuses in all the decks that can cast them because they're very good. Yep. Just steal my whole deck, why don't you? I mean, on the bright side, we do have uh, two Carnage Tyrants in hand, so eventually those can do something. I wish this Wayward Sword Tooth uh, had Trample. Land. Oh, buddy, look at that. Look at that beautiful... Does this give haste? Yes, thank goodness. Is that what we want, though? Hmm. So we actually have five mana. Pretty sure we just head head towards Teferi. Oh, and it gives Vigilance too? Oh, that's gas. Yeah, we know Nissa doubles for us. That's why we said we have five mana. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody knows. It untaps the land. I don't know what that means. Nissa doesn't, right? Untap it. Oh, no. That's terrible. It does untap the land. Wow. I thought it would say untap target land, put 3-1 on counters on it. I thought untap would come first. That's kind of weird that it's like so late. That's weird. I just feel like it's really late in the... They're like, put three counters on a, a non-creature land you control. 
untap it. Well, why don't I untap it first? That seems dumb. I use Kiora for nothing. I could have had another land, then we could have still had five, and then we could have played like something else. Biscuits. I mean, either way, it's still good. We know they have two. They only have access to two Hydroid Crassuses, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's fine. It's only two five five flyers that we're gonna have a hard time dealing with. So. Oh my God. Are you serious? I don't think you even saw either of these in the game. Did you see any of these in game one? That's so weird. Why would you have that? I don't understand anything. I don't think we played a single Planeswalker in game one. We literally just played like Incubation Druid, Carnage Tyrant, uh, like Paradise Druid, Llanowar Elf, and like we held onto Prime. I guess they saw them in the deck. They saw most of the deck, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Sure. Like most of the cards they're playing are just our cards. One, two, three, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We can just play Kiora again. Untap a land. They have no cards in hand, which is nice. Okay. Let's get in there with this land first. Because I'm pretty sure they're blocking. Or not blocking, rather. They might just block here. Yeah, that's fine. Hydroid Crassus, number three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw two more. Moldrifter number three. Okay, just making sure everything's done. Got a negate, but it's okay. They hit a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're going to draw four cards here. That's pretty brutal. That's the Hydroid Crassus we know about. Now they get to attack. Well, I guess if they attack with Thieves of Sanity, it's fine. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's only six. It's all right. Nah, it's only three cards. Which is better. Uh, and as far as I know, there's no old school formats on Magic Online. I mean, Vintage and Legacy, if that's what you're referring to. Unless you're referring to actual old school, which is like 93, 94. But there's, there's Vintage and Legacy on Magic Online, which are great. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Could play Carnage Tyrant here, draw a card. And if we hit a land off this, we can actually play another Carnage Tyrant. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five.
That sets us up for Aronis next turn. Draw another card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I think we're gonna oh man, we're looking we're looking okay. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Might be too good to be true. Kids these days should be forced to go through two weeks of each of the uh what did that hit? Oh, the, the, yeah, that's fine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We take ten. Oh, I think we're, I think we're good. Kids these days, they, they don't appreciate the new formats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Taunt us with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Kids these days. Sure. You got it. Guys, I'd like to thank the Academy for this. And that's the way the teddy bears have their picnic. Would you like to take a billion damage? Just let me attack. Just let me get it. Come on. I worked so hard. And got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. These are 3416 Carnage Tyrants. Ooh They didn't you can't even let it go through? Man, you ain't got no class. Thirty-four yeah, Stone Cold 3416. That was good times. Those were some good times. I do kinda want crushing canopy though, because I also want Ugin because it kills things. Take out a sword tooth. Take out the growing rights. Take out a field rune. The wanna be a Tolarian idiot. Thank you. Tell us of the other gifted so to mind stab thrill. Thanks so much, buddy. Thank you again. I want to be a Tolarian idiot. You guys know how it goes. This turn one? Yeah, we'll just pass it up. Pass it up, pass, pass it up. Play Druid. Oh, I was my hero of Precinct 1. I didn't have this at any point in any game, but I have it now, and I'm going to touch Deputy of Detention, your incubation druid, and kill it. Oh my god, is this a real Ice Age trailer? Oh my god, I can't wait to watch this. Oh my god, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, you gotta just make me play it again. That's pretty good. Yeah, I would watch it. I don't even know if I'd get demonetized for this, to be quite honest with you. That would require Wizards, like, claiming it, right? Oh, that was such a great draw. I was really hoping for a one-drop comically enough. So now... Seems good. Now you can play Finale of Devastation in Modern and go get a go get a uh, Dryad Arbor for your for your two mana investment. That's pretty good, right? Um, sure, I'll block here because I don't think you're gonna pump it or play Vraska's Finisher, whatever that card is called. Well, I have 100 of these left bits had now, I guess. <laughs> had these left bits? Had, you mean had these bits left? I had these left bits. What are you doing here? You're going to thought erasure me? Oh, because it's my draw step. That's good. Um, One, two, and then we still have three mana. Hmm, sure. I have one of these left bits had now, I guess. No, I get the have and had part. I didn't understand. I feel like you could have been, I have one of these bits left had now. I feel like left bits are just backwards, right? That's that's a good that's a good choice, because I would have actually uh I would have actually played that. One, two, three, four, five. Could play three through flyer. Look for a land. We could search for something for three. Is there anything super good in our deck for three mana? Wayward Sword Tooth, but you don't do much. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's just Hydroid Crassus. We want to do something, so. We'll draw a card, maybe we'll hit a land. We did. Look at that. They also have two minutes and fifty-three minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes and fifty-three seconds to win the game. So. Now I'll play five meta tuffery. Tyrant's scorn. Well done. Well done. Now I'll play Thief of Sin. Another t Interesting. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I mean, if we hit a land, we're just going to play... Actually... I thought this was a Carnage Tyrant because it was literally a fat card with a dinosaur on it. That is not the case. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we make a four, four. Draw two lands. Oh, baby. So what, what are we hoping they don't have? Deputy detention, hostage taker, other Teferi. Soren seems okay here. Yeah, that's actually fine, all things considered. Oh, I will block. So we just get to eat Soren? No, they're gonna they're gonna plus it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can go for five, which could we get? God of Toronto, Ronus, Wayward Sword Tooth. 
I feel like we might want some more silver bullets in the deck because we have finale in, in the deck. Uh, we can also just play Incubation Druid here. Let's just kill Teferi here. Soren doesn't actually do much. They still have to win the game in like a minute and four seconds. Minute, minute and a half, so. And we still get to keep Negate up, so. Oh, uh, no, I haven't had that much luck with Edric. I feel like Edric's just a dude that's in the deck. Um, no. I mean, we just really have to survive here, which I think is fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can actually get a, uh, we could get, oh, we could have got a Ronus. One, two, one, two, three. We could have got a Ronus and then attacked this and then had a Ronus and the other one back. Right now we go block, block. We can make one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can do that. We can block two, we can take three. That seems fine. I mean, I think we're, if we win this, we're just going to win on time, right? So. Oh my god, that's not what we wanted to do. We were supposed to play this. Oh god, that's so bad. Oh god. Sure. That's so brutal. Let's block first so that they don't get a... So if they have like a removal spell, we get our block out of it. I guess we have negate up here. We're at three. Yeah, now we have to get Ronus and just kill Soren here. But then we still die to like block block. <sighs> One, two. Activate this, play Kiora, untap this. Yeah, we actually just missed out. Like the, the one point's actually gonna make a huge difference here, unfortunately. We could just get something cheap. But we really wanna deal with Soren because Soren saves the point. And then we have to block three things. We don't really have the mana to block three things. I guess we could untap this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'd have one up. Um, add three. Does Ronus give Vigilance? It does give Vigilance, doesn't it? This is basically free because we can untap this. Uh, search my library. Get Roni McMoney. Aldo yield to both. Draw land. <laughs> The worst possible land. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. I 
I think we actually do we play a land this turn? I don't actually know. I guess we could have attacked for six there too. That was pretty bad not to have. But we're kind of rushing, so. Oh, it looks like we already did play a land. So. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god, dude. Seriously? So bad. They're going to win with 11 seconds on the clock. Ugh. Vomit. Three seconds. So ridiculous, dude. Absolutely unbelievable. Play faster next time. You're not even playing a hard deck. What about like one of Biogenic Ooze? Four Carnage Tyrants might be a little excessive. Same thing, what, what's a good creature that just gains life? Like just a big fat green idiot that gains you life. Standard and creature. Uh, Palaka Worm's rough because we actually don't have. Um, we're not gonna. It's it's seven mana. Like by the time we hit seven, we want to be able to survive earlier or later. I also like. Um, I like Tulsmir. but I'm not sure we'd be able to actually cast it reliably with only Paradise Druid. And finale to find it. Oh, uh, we're looking for creature to search for. Nope, that's weird. Gain life. Hydroid Crassus is good. Oh, it's I, I have it searched for exactly these colors at most of these colors. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, our options are pretty limited. Tatiova is actually pretty sweet. I kind of like that. Thanos, have a good night, buddy. Thanks so much for everything. Really appreciate it. Enjoy your lasagna. I just don't care about growing rights. I think it's hard to flip. Maybe it's not that hard to flip. I don't know. I think a one of is actually fine. So we took out one sword tooth. Biogenic ooze and Tatiova don't actually cause Kiora to flip, but. Any love for newness? I mean, besides the three that are already in here? I mean, we could just put Wild Growth Walker with a bunch of other, a bunch of the, a bunch of the, the other guys, like Jade Light Ranger instead of this, Wild Growth Walker instead of Paradise Drew. But then, like, you're not really ramping. Uh, I need, an, I don't know if I like Ooze actually that much. I liked it as like a one of two durable target, but I also want cards that trigger this, this lady. Maybe one Palaka Worm is decent though. Let's try it like this and see what happens. Oh, 
Oh, keep. Snap keep. Give me them snap keeps. Mm -hmm. Need a blue source, though. I am a blind dummy. I didn't want to say anything, but we knew. Mm, that's stomping ground. Oh, next time we can go sword tooth into land. That seems all right. Unless you kill this guy. <laughs> Who knew that Frank Senpai's betrayal would be so sudden? <laughs> Oh, man. I'm sorry, buddy. It cuts like a knife. Oh, Krenko? What? Sacred Foundry, Clifftop Retreat, Stomping Ground. What is going on? Now we're talking. One, two, three, four, five. So we can get a three, boy. Could just play Ronus. I don't know if that's great though. One, two, three, four, five. Probably just want to play Incubation Druid here, but we can also just go get another Lana War Elf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'd be eight permanents. Probably just want to play Ronus here. I don't know, man. If he picks on you, that means he loves you. That's probably true. That's probably true. This is probably a mistake. I guess, though, Krenko's not super scary yet. Her famous last words. I know. I know. Chris, man, buddy, I love you. Okay, they put a... They defiant strike to this Krenko, and they defiant striked him again. And they took two. And now they gave him... Oh, Christ. Sometimes you just want to vomit in your mouth because of Cranko. What the... F what is this deck, man? What is even happening to us? One, two, three, four, five, six. Block here. Play this guy. Play Ronus. Hmm. Nothing's good here. This was bad. I'm going to go to the next game. I guess I'll play this guy in hopes that we hit something. But really, the only thing we're going to hit is sadness. That's... I, I won. We block here. We take 8, 9, 10. Yep. <sighs> Wayward Swordtooth is looking worse and worse here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say. Dude looks good in the mid game, but... What are good three drops, guys? Uh, Curry mana cost equal to three. At least you don't have to worry about Krenko just yet. Make seven tokens. Gross. These are all elves. What about like Marwin? Is Marwin good? Good three drops? Uh, Time Twister? Time Twister's not a good three drop. What's wrong with you? That's ridiculous. I don't even think we have a decent sideboard for this deck. Yikes. Time Twister is terrible unless you're playing Storm. Or some nonsense. I'm looking through all the three drops. 
Runic Armasaur is decent. I wonder if that guy has a home here. Snap keep. All right, we're doing this. This hand's great. And you should feel great. We're going to we're going to open on Kiora. We're going to go 1 2 3 open on Kiora. Taking out Wayward Swordtooth is less less targets for the Kiora though, unfortunately. And by targets, I mean less cards that trigger her. Triggered. Steel Leaf Champion, however. That guy is solid. Ooh, look at this. Are you guys ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Look what we did. So much mana. One, two, three, four, five, six mana next turn. Let me get to draw another card. Oh, I do like one end raise. For sure, they got rid of a line of war elf. Sure, I do like one end raise forerunner in place of a uh, in place of a carnage tyrant, just to search up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. We're doing it. You guys ready to do it next turn? Don't say you're not gonna do it. It's from, uh... okay, you killed my, yeah. Well, on the bright side, we can probably cast everything here. One, two, yep, not enough there, so I'll just play this guy. Attack you for ten. Tenya. See, I just I literally just shut on Wayward Sword Tooth a second ago, and now it's like, hey buddy. What'd you say about me? And I'm like, I'm sorry, Wayward Sword Tooth. I didn't mean it. This is where they play a second. Oh, they didn't play anything. Well, isn't that fascinating? They don't have double white, so they can't settle the wreckage. Uh, no blocks. No, no, no abilities until you tell me what you're gonna do. Tell me what you will do. They will lose. Okay. The city's blessing token always looks like it's a land. It always throws me off. Man, chain roller is rough when we have paradise druids and land or elves in our deck. Yikes. At least she got hexproof, I guess. Yeah, that's a rough hand. This is also a rough hand, but I don't want to go to five here when they went to five. That just seems terrible. Uh, yeah, we'll keep you. <laughs> Sharpie's on a dryad arbor. I swear it's a one one, guys. City's blessing. What you talking about? That's a one one. Oh, they took two. Gross Chamber Guardian? 
Oh, that crazy thing. Uh, why not Vivian's Arcbow? Like, it just doesn't seem great in this deck. Like, we could hit, like, a Llanowar Elf or an Incubation Druid. There's just not a high concentration of creatures that you really care about hitting. So next thing, go Kiara on tap. Seems good. Come on. While we're waiting, you guys should definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. The link is in the description below and in my Twitch profile page. You can check both of those out. You will get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So be sure and check those things out. It's a great deal. They're super comfortable. Let the man have some fun. Let him play his Death Shadow and his Demonic Tutor. What problem is? Yeah, we're, all, we're not blocking that, so. This is where he's like, And you're just like, alright, you, you got it, man. You got a lot of pumps going on here. Plus two, so that's what, five? Nope, that's a six. That's a sixer. Just these aren't these aren't doing much though. Mismatched sleeves? I mean some were purple and some were black. Oh boy, this is rough. That's rough. I mean, we're in a situation where we'd rather lose a land than a Nyssa, so. This is where they go through, yeah, obviously. Make this guy a nine, so, s wow. Kills everything perfectly. God, what a fantastic, just wonderful. Jesus. Yeah, I don't love growing rights. I just don't think it does anything. As you can see when it did nothing there. I don't think we want a match, unfortunately. I think our deck is trying to be too cute. Um, but I think that's what I think that's what Badger goes for, to be quite honest. And uh, I think it's fine. But like, I mean, we're 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 looking at ramping. But I think I think better it's just to play like Wild Growth Walker, Merfolk Branch Walker, and uh, Jade Light Ranger packages because they're just super efficient in this meta game. And like, they can't kill them. Even if they kill them, you've gotten value off of them. Like, if they're able to kill your Merfolk Branch Walker when it has one toughness, it's because you drew a land. So it's like. But we did get to attack with two thirty four sixteen uh, Carnage Tyrants, which I think is pretty sweet. I think the blue does that a lot with Hydroid Crassus, but yeah, I think we're a little too far behind here, unfortunately. This guy doesn't have Trample, right? Do you give Trample? Oh, gains Trample. Yeah, that's going to be the end of this, unfortunately. Either way, I still think the, the decks are fun. And the, which, which is the 4-5 Dino? Oh, the, uh, the Rip Draw? 
or not the yeah rip draw raptor i think but like I, the problem is i don't think you have that many ways to i wish you had ways to to deal damage to your own guys this was the final deck we we went on but uh we'll i'll be uploading this with the video as well so thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons check me out on twitch patreon meundies.com slash frank lafour manatraders.com and coolstuffinc.com all of those links are in the description below so be sure to check those out they're great ways to support the channel if you haven't subscribed or followed yet and if you haven't why not definitely helps the stream a ton and uh really appreciate it thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time